Uh, I want to thank the member opposite for your comments today. Uh, but I'd ask you to actually look at the history that you were talking about. You said all three parties have been you know, part and parcel of the problems in long-term care, but that's not actually accurate. There's a report called Ownership Matters by the Ontario Health Coalition that documented what happened in long-term care through the 1990s and the early 2000s. And what they found was that the NDP created uh, a resident's bill of rights. They created resident uh, consultation committees at every long-term care that had the right to uh, go through the, the reports and, and to inform people about their rights in, in long-term care. And they mandated hands-on care and inspections in all long-term care homes. All of that was stripped away by the Conservative government when they got into power. Shame! And then this Conservative government, you, your Premier said that you were going to put Question. an iron ring around long-term care homes after 1,000 people died in the first wave of the pandemic. They did nothing and let 3,000 more people die. Thank you. Why should anybody believe that this government actually has the best interest? Thank you. Response? North uh, thank you, Speaker. And I would like to thank the, uh, the, the member opposite for your question. I can't speak to past history. I wasn't there. All I can speak to is what our government is currently doing to, in fact, deal with the neglect of many, many years in this sector. So our government is introducing this legislation to improve the well-being of residents in long-term care and retirement homes and ensure they get the care they deserve. If passed, this legislation is going to create um, amendments that have never, in fact, been dealt with in legislation before. We're not only fixing long-term care, we're also dealing with Ontario seniors getting quality of care they need Spons? and deserve, both now and in the future. We've established the commitment to provide an average of four hours of direct care. We're strengthening the Re Residence Bill of Rights to align with Thank the you. Ontario Human Rights Code. and we're.